my friend, my friend, this is called Runaway. This is by Del Shannon. Now, I'm going to be doing a dual lesson here. This is going to be on a guitar, but I'm going to be playing this at the fifth fret as if I had a capo. So if you're a guitar player, play it at the fifth fret. Have fun with this. If you're a guitar lele player, play this as if you're playing at your original headstock. So if you see me up here doing something like this as a D minor, it quite literally is going to be the D minor of your fashion right here. It's going to look like this down here for you. However, for me, it looks like this one right here. We're going to be playing a couple different motions on how to do this. And the idea is I want to show this through the eyes of guitar and guitar lele. In this key, we've got two sharps. So we're in the key of D major. D major has a D major, has a E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor. We have a C sharp diminish, or we could play it like an A7 and resolve right back to our D. The first chord we're going to be having here is going to be playing a D minor, which charismatically is outside of the key. However, the chorus goes to the major. Wait for it. We're going to have a D minor playing in the beginning to a C major. Now our C major, we're going to want to play a, like what looks like this. For all you guitar players, it looks like a G major. However, if you're down here going to be doing your, your groove down here, that's exactly what it's going to look like for your guitar lately players. Uh, as I walk along and I wonder... What went wrong with our love? Our B flat major is gonna look like this at the sixth fret, and then we're just gonna move this down here a half step and remove the pinky for our A7. So the whole movement's gonna be one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. For those of you who don't know this song and kind of know this song, it's the one that has that It's called an Andaluvian cadence. It's when you're just walking down four notes, four chords in a row that are all in a row in a specific key. Not exactly an X cell because it's not in a minor second format. However, this Andaluvian cadence is very predominant. When we go to a chorus, it's going to go to a D major. So that D major is not going to have the minor shape tonality. It's going to raise the minor third to a major third. We play it with a flat chord, or if you're still working on your bar chords, yeah, you can use three fingers, but I would suggest utilizing just the one. You can play it with both sets of fingers, one and three, two and four. Here's kind of what it's going to feel like. I'm going to go slow. As I was walking along, I wonder what went wrong with our love. Love that was so very strong. Back to the top again, D minor. And as I still walk on, I think things, things that all went together while our hearts were young. D major. Here's walking in the rain. B minor seven. We're gonna bar up the second fret for the guitar lele. Play our D and our G string with our three and four finger. Use the back fat of our first, our second finger to mute the A string. And if you're playing here as a bar chord capo, you actually need to bar the whole fifth fret when you're doing this, or else it will come off a little funky without the other notes. Right on. So our D major is gonna go to our B minor seven. Nice. And then we're going to be playing our B minor 7 again after our D. So D to the B minor 7, D to the B minor 7, D to the B minor 7. And eventually after the B minor 7, the third time, we go down to the G major. Now our G major here is going to look like this with a 5th fret. So if you're playing a uh, guitar lele, it's going to look like this. Guitar players, it looks like your D major if your capo is on your 5th fret. And then we're going to play the A7, which is going to look kind of feel weird for guitar players. It's an E7 right here, E major seven, but we're doing it on the fifth fret. It's gonna look kind of like playing an A7. Cool, that's the whole thing. When we go through it, should have the process of it. Well, 
That's where that third time through it does the instrumental, so super cool. And then rocks out with a third final verse, which is the first verse repeated, and then ends the song after doing the uh, chorus again, the, the D major, back and forth to the B minor seven, D major, B minor seven, G major, have our uh, A seven, and then we do a quick turnaround, which is funny, turn around on the runaway. D, G, D, don't, don't, that's the end. I hope you had a great time today. I sure as heck did. We'll see you next time.